Greetings, distinguished guests and colleagues. First, let me congratulate AMRO for hosting this inaugural forum. We meet at a time of high global uncertainty, and this forum offers a unique opportunity to discuss how ASEMPRA three countries can work together to confront the many challenges facing the region. Let me speak to you today about the future of globalization. In this new era, I want to stress the importance of deepening regional cooperation to build resilience and achieve shared prosperity. Globalization has helped deliver extraordinary outcomes to the developing world, including our region. With a shifting geopolitical landscape, the world seems increasingly segmented. However, economic integration and interdependence remains the most promising path to social and economic progress. While globalization will not and should not retreat, it needs to take a new shape in order to ensure that the benefits are shared more widely among countries and populations. Global cooperation is also crucial to tackle public health challenges, financial crisis, energy and food security, and climate change. Without it, we will not achieve the sustainable development goals. Let me turn now to regional cooperation, which is indispensable to making globalization more resilient and inclusive. Promoting trade in services along with digital transformation are especially important. Let me highlight a few ways we can support this. First, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, or RCEP, sends a strong signal for the region's unwavering commitment to building an open trading platform. We support the region's RCEP implementation to foster digital trade and trade facilitation. Second, to build resilience against health security risks across borders. We should improve coordination among national regulators and surveillance agencies. This includes strengthening the exchange of information and the monitoring of virus outbreaks. And third, regional financial cooperation is essential. We are already seeing the risk of aggressive tightening of US monetary policy to fight inflation, which may trigger abrupt reversals of capital flows and sharp currency depreciation. I want to emphasize AMRO's crucial role in maintaining the region's macro financial stability we appreciate AMLO's contribution to regional economic surveillance and to implementing regional financial arrangements, including the Chenmai Initiative Multilateralization. Let me end by emphasizing ADB's commitment to support this new path for globalization. We will continue to engage in policy dialogue and to provide financial and technical assistance and knowledge solutions. Our support includes strengthening inclusive and resilient trade, financial stability, digitalization, and green finance. For example, ADB's trade and supply chain financing program is helping smaller enterprises to join global value chains by supporting about $8 billion worth of trade annually. We strive to include more women and vulnerable groups in trade. We support contributions to global trade that are green, resilient, and transparent. And our Digital Standards Initiative is helping to facilitate digitalization in trade. And so, my friends, I wish you productive discussions at this forum. I welcome future cooperation between ADP, AMRO, and our partners as we support the countries of ASEMPRA 3 on their path to a prosperous, inclusive, legitimate and sustainable future.